that means it's fall. I don't make the rules. Okay, hi friends, good morning, welcome back, thank you for clicking. Um, today, like the title says, is going to be a fall bookstore vlog. So basically, if you haven't been following the rest of my channel, I posted a video called Why I No Longer Have a Physical TBR, and in that video I did a challenge where I finished literally every single book I had on my physical TBR, and since then I have not bought any more books because I was preparing for this moment. Fall is my favorite time of year, I am so excited to go buy fall books. Okay, so the plan today, we are going to go to two independent bookstores, we're going to go to Half Price, and we're also going to go to Barnes. So four bookstores in total, and it's going to be just a spooky, vibey day. And we also might go to Trader Joe's because one of the bookstores is directly across the street from Trader Joe's, and I know that Trader Joe's has all their fall treats out right now, and I just really... I'm just a fall girly, you know? Like, if I know Trader Joe's has fall treats and I am within a 12-foot proximity to it, I must go. We will most likely also go to Trader Joe's. So, join me for that and let's go! Also, by the way, all of the books I'm going to be looking for today I discussed in my fall TBR. So those are going to be the books that I'm buying today or looking for today. So if you haven't watched that, go watch that first. And yeah, cue the montage. Let's go! a chance to talk in the bookstore that we went to so basically i that was the first independent bookstore that we are going to today i went in there specifically to look for agatha christie specifically the halloween party because it is a mystery book specific bookstore so like their thing is mystery books they only have one small bookshelf of non-mystery stuff so i was like okay if anywhere is gonna have the halloween party this type of year when it's so popular it's gonna be this place and they did have it but only the hardcover and it was 25 dollars. so i was like no thank you but then the lady was like oh i hope that you're not gonna go buy that on amazon now support your local bookstores which obviously i wanted to support my local bookstore but then i felt guilty after she, after she said that so i just bought dead 11 there 
Um, but yeah, I'm still happy about it because I wanted to read this this fall anyway. So we're all good. Anyways, okay, now we are going to go to half price. And at half price, I'm probably gonna buy most of the books that I'm planning on buying today, just because obviously it's gonna be way cheaper than Barnes & Noble. Um, however, the other independent bookstore that I'm going to is also a used bookstore, which is also really cheap, but their stock is usually not as good as half price. They usually have more like niche books. So I'm hoping half price has like a Halloween section that I can just quickly grab my books from. But yeah, sorry if like the montage of me shopping was not that interesting. It's just so awkward for me to film in public. But yeah, anyways, let's go to the next stop. I will see you there. Okay, I just made it to Half Price Books. Should we do the Trader Joe's haul first or later? We're gonna do the haul first. I got this gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. I have never had this before. I've seen it for the past like few years, but I just haven't tried it yet. Here's the thing. Okay, I was a pumpkin spice hater, like a true absolute hater. I hated pumpkin anything. I still hate pumpkin pie and most pumpkin flavored things. However, I was specifically a Starbucks pumpkin, you know, like, hater, like anything pumpkin at Starbucks, I really hated. And then last year, I tried the pumpkin cream cold brew for the first time, and I like, kind of liked it. I thought it was okay, but then I started craving it. So then last year, I got two more after that. And then this year, for some reason, like, when Starbucks put out the pumpkin spice this year, I went for it. Like, I got the pumpkin cream cold brew again. It was amazing. And then I was on a pumpkin cream kick. So then I got the chai latte with pumpkin cream cold foam. And then the next day I got a hot pumpkin spice latte. Like who am I? Like I've never liked pumpkin before and now this year I'm all about it. So since this is so popular at Trader Joe's, I see all the girlies getting this. I had to try it this year finally. And going along with the pumpkin spice stuff, I also got these pumpkin spice Jojos. I love the dipped Jojos. The only ones I didn't get were the Halloween like jack-o'-lantern ones because those are always stale. I don't know why but at my Trader Joe's whenever I get those jack-o'-lantern ones they're always stale so I tried to go for the pumpkin spice Jojo's this year. Next okay this is a thing that I have been getting for consistently for the past few years. These are the ghost and bat potato chips. They call them potato chips but they're actually just like they taste like the potato flavored veggie straws. Okay, then I got the pumpkin spice cookies. These I also have been getting for years and years. They don't really taste like pumpkin anything. They just taste like like an herbal spices with frosting to me. Um, but these are always a good go-to. And then I got the classic maple leaf cookies. These are always a must every year. They have these year round but like during fall they just hit different, you know? Okay, and then I got this cinnamon bun spread. I think they also have this year round, but like obviously during fall, you just feel the cinnamon bun spread vibes, you know? I've actually never tried this before, but I have always wanted to try it ever since I saw Desi try it in one of her videos. Darling Desi, I'll put here. Um, but yeah, she tried this in one of her videos and she said it was amazing. So now I'm like, okay, I just have to bite the bullet and go for it. And I was thinking this would be good to go on top of the gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. We might do a taste test later. That would be fun. The last thing I got was this pumpkin spice liqueur. Liquor? Liqueur. Some people say it fancy. But um, yeah, this was sold out when I went to Trader Joe's last week. So today when I saw that they had them in stock, I was like, okay, I should just get one because obviously it's super popular. Um, so yeah, that is the Trader Joe's haul. Now we are going to go into half price and see if they have the fall books that I'm looking for. So join me for that.
bookstores are not hitting today. I went in half price looking for um, Salem's Lot by Stephen King or Ray Bradbury, either October Country or The Halloween Tree. And I also looked for The Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. They didn't have any of those. I was a little bit disappointed in their selection, but I did get one book that I was really looking for. I was actually gonna get it at Barnes & Noble, but it was actually a lot cheaper here, so that's good. And it's brand new still, um, so that's cool. Anyways, now we are going to go to the last independent bookstore of the day, and then we will move on to Barnes and probably, most likely, get a pumpkin spice latte because as I said I'm on the pumpkin spice cake this year and I need one in me right now because I'm doing the fall video for you guys anyways okay yes see you at the next store okay now let's go to Barnes, the happy place. I left that other independent bookstore with nothing. <laughs> this day is not turning out very fun. I was like, I'm gonna buy so many books today that it's gonna be a problem and I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna have like a whole new shelf of fall books to read and I literally have only three so far. But you guys know I can do a lot of damage in Barnes. So let's go in and see. Also, I literally cannot stop eating these. Let's go see what damage I'll do in Barnes. Catch you there.
did just set the camera up and then walk outside and then come back in. We're not going to talk about it. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, it's so hot with this hat on. Listen, it was fall weather when I woke up this morning and then it just got progressively hotter. Oh my god, I'm going to have a heat stroke. Okay, we are back home, friends, and let's go through my book haul. I am really excited about the books that I got. I'm just going to recap a little bit. So the first place we went to was that first independent bookstore, and that one is really cool. It is themed to mysteries, so they literally only sell mystery books, except there's like a small section of non-mystery books. So what I was looking for there was Agatha Christie Halloween Party. I thought that if anywhere would have it, it would be there, but unfortunately they were sold out of it. Well, they weren't sold out of it, but they only had the hardcover copy, and it was $26 so yeah I just passed on that and then the second place we went to was Trader Joe's so I do have a haul I kind of did a haul for you in the car but I feel like I should do a little snack taste test because I know that me and you we're all fall girlies so I know you want a fall snack taste test and then after Trader Joe's we went to half price I think I got two things there. After Half Price, we went to the last independent bookstore. Last place we went to was Barnes. So, speaking of Barnes, I did get my pumpkin spice latte. Anyways, okay, let's get started. So, I guess, okay, first we'll start with a snack. We're gonna do a book haul and a snack haul at the same time. Like, we're gonna do a few books, then do a snack taste test, and then continue on if that's cool with you. The first thing that I got at Trader Joe's was these ghosts and bats, but I've already tried them in mean, years past as well. They are so cute. They're little, they're literally little bats and ghosts. It says potato chips on the bag, but they aren't really potato chips. They're like veggie straws, if you know what that is. They're really good, but yeah. Okay, let's start with the mystery bookstore, the one that I went to first. So after I found out that they didn't have Halloween Party by Agatha Christie, I also looked for Ray Bradbury and they also didn't have any of those and so I got this book that I have been looking at for a while and I also saw it on Books and Lala, her YouTube channel put here. Um, but yeah, so this is the first book that I got today. It is Dead Eleven by Jimmy Giuliano. This was $27. Why... Okay, well I I do not recall spending that much money. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna just ignore that. We're gonna pretend like I did not spend $27. Yeah, basically I actually wasn't gonna get this book today. It is on my fall TBR, but I was like, oh I'll probably rent it from the library. But then when I was at the mystery bookstore and I asked her, like I asked the lady, like, oh, do you have Halloween Party by Agatha Christie? And she showed me the hardcover and I was like, oh, do you have soft cover? And she said, no, we're sold out. Um, and I said, oh, okay, and I put it back on the shelf, and then she was like, oh, I hope you're not gonna go find it on Amazon now, you should support your local bookstore. So, like, obviously, <laughs> obviously I felt bad leaving that store not buying anything, so that's why I was roped into buying this, but that's okay. I mean, I do really like supporting independent bookstores, that's the reason I went there first today. Um, they just didn't have what I wanted, but this is a book that I have been looking at, so I don't feel bad about buying it. So yeah, and they also gave me a free little bookmark, which is really cute. So basically what Dead Eleven is about, actually let me just read the blurbs. I feel like that's the best way to do this because I always feel like I don't explain things properly or like I don't want to explain it wrongly and then like someone doesn't read the book because of my explanation. So I'll just read it from the author's words. On a creepy island where everyone has a strange obsession with the year 1994, a newcomer arrives, hoping to learn the truth about her son's death. When Willow Stone finds these words written on the floor of her deceased son's bedroom, Clifford Island, she's perplexed. She's never heard of it before, but soon she learns it's a tiny island off of Wisconsin's Door County Peninsula, 200 miles from Willow's home. Why would her son write this on his floor? Hoping to find answers, Willow sets out for the island. From Books and Lala's description of it, it's kind of like supernatural, but also gives obviously 90s vibes because the island has everything as if it's like 1994 as it said, um, so that's really cool. I love anything that takes place in a different time period, like 80s, 90s, 70s are like my favorite eras. I love books that take place in those eras. So yeah, I am interested in reading this. It's like a fun, spooky book. Okay, let's try another snack now. Let's try the pumpkin spice cookies. 
Okay, these are my favorite. These have been my favorite for a few years now, actually. Let's try these. Also, like, if you're worried about food waste, don't be, because I'm sharing all of these with my sister. She will be so excited to have all of these snacks, and I'm also going to share with my family as well, so they aren't going to go to waste. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I haven't had this since last year. Mm hmm Good as always. Go buy these. So the next place I went to was Half Price Books. And there I managed to find two of the books that I was looking for. So let's go through those really quick. The first book that I found there was Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. Well, actually my goal for Half Price Books was to buy Halloween Party by Agatha Christie or some Ray Bradbury books. And I also looked for um, Stephen King, Salem's Lot. Um, however, they did not have any of those. But anyway, so then I was just walking around the store and I found Sleepy Hollow. This one is actually such a pretty edition. Hang on, there's... Okay, I, I need to see the drama. Okay, it was just a traffic stop. Anyways, okay, look at this cover. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's do another snack taste test before we get to the next book that I bought at half price. I'm super excited about these, the Pumpkin Spiced Jojo's. So these are basically Oreos, but they're coated. During Christmas, I love the Peppermint Jojo's. Those are really good. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. I've never had these before. Okay, maybe I'm not a lover of pumpkin spice everything. That one's a little bit too strong for me. Listen, if you like pumpkin, you'll probably like that, but um, it's not for me. Anyways, okay, the next book I got at half price was Hookie um, Volume 3. This is actually a webtoon, so you can read it for free on webtoon, I believe. But I just really like collecting the actual books. So I have the first two, this is the third one, and I am so excited about this. When I read the first volume, I was absolutely obsessed. I loved it. I wasn't too crazy about volume two, so I'm interested to see how the story evolves in number three and if I like it as much as I did one or if I'm just kind of like meh about it. But nonetheless, I am super excited about this. This is about two twins who find out that they're witches, but they live in a society who kind of discriminates against witches and witches have to kind of hide their like identities and so these two twins are in danger because it's found out that they are witches and they are actually from a line of very strong and powerful witches okay that was quite literally my fourth time refilming that clip my camera kept stopping without me knowing like so many times so we're just gonna do the rest of this on my phone sorry for the quality but yeah so at the end of volume two there's kind of like a witch uprising and the girl twin danielle kind of becomes the main figure of the uprising and then her brother is kind of on the sidelines and is like i don't know if this is right like how do we balance humanity with our witchhood while she just wants revenge on the humans for what they did to witches. So I think the volume three is gonna be about like their conflict and kind of coming to a compromise with each other and how to handle the situation. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. And then I'm not sure if I, I don't think I talked about Sleepy Hollow. I mean, we all know what it's about, but I guess I should read the blurb on the back anyway. I think this is a quote actually from the book. It says, then as he wended his way by swamp and stream in awful woodland to the farmhouse where he happened to be quartered, every sound of nature at that witching hour fluttered his excited imagination. Sounds good to me. Okay, and then you missed me trying and opening the maple leaf cookies. I did say in that clip that didn't get filmed, I guess. Um, I did say these are at Trader Joe's year round, so I have them all the time. They're so good. They look like little leaves. I already bit into this one, sorry. But they are shaped like little leaves and they are so good. Don't walk, run. Okay, so for the last independent bookstore, I actually didn't get anything. They didn't have anything that I wanted. I did look for the Halloween tree. I also looked for Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I also looked for Ray Bribery. They didn't have anything. Their selection was pretty, pretty like niche, as I said before. Um, they sell used books, not new books. Yeah, so they don't have as much popular books as like Half Price does. Well, even Half Price didn't really have that much this time. But anyway, so yeah, let's move on to what I got at Barnes, which is where I did the most damage, which sucks because I literally went to those three other places, the two independent stores and then also Half Price because I was looking for cheaper books, but none of them had anything that I wanted or was looking for, so I had to go to Barnes. I had to go to Barnes. You get it. I know you get it. Let's start with the book that I have been looking at for literal years. I have been wanting, dreaming of this book for the past three years, ever since I saw it. 
it is this beautiful version of, that's my receipt. It is this beautiful version of Dracula. Like, let's take a moment of silence for the pages. Like, I could cry. It's so beautiful. And the inside covers, I'm not sure what this card is called. The inside cover, like, are you kidding? Anyways, yeah. I've been dreaming of this book for years and I finally got it. It is $40, so yeah, it's definitely a splurge. There are so many cheaper versions of Dracula out there. I'm pretty sure you can even find a PDF online for free, but I just knew I wanted this edition specifically. Like if I was ever gonna read Dracula, I knew it was gonna be from this edition or not at all. So I finally just bit the bullet and got it. You know what, I justified it though because my birthday is this week. So I was like, it's my birthday present to me even though I literally do not have money to be spending. But anyways, I am so happy that I got this. So look out for a Dracula reading vlog this month, maybe. Okay, and then as a little intermission, I guess I'll show you the rest of the Trader Joe's stuff that I got. It's not gonna be like a taste test though, because you have to like cook it and I'm, I'm just not in a cooking mood right now. But I got these gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. After trying the pumpkin spice Jojo's, I am a little bit terrified to try this because I think they may be too pumpkin-y for me. However, I do have this to combat the pumpkin. It is cinnamon bun spread. I think this is also a year-round product. I'm not exactly sure, but ever since I saw this in Darling Desi's video, I have been wanting to try it. And I was like, oh, these would be very good together. Cause like you need something on top of your pancakes, right? And the last two books that I got at Barnes & Noble were Da, da, da. Okay, now for the last two books that I got at Barnes. The first of the last two was da, 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 Halloween Party. This this small little small little book was $18.99. That is outrageous. My soul left my body when I saw that price. But I have been also looking for this book for like a year, not looking for it. Obviously I've seen it in Barnes all the time. I've been looking at it for like a year and I knew I wanted to read it this fall specifically. So I just, again, I bit the bullet and I did it. It's my birthday so I can make bad financial decisions without getting yelled at, okay? So yeah, I am excited to read this. Even though I've heard that this is not a great Agatha Christie book, it's just like a mid one of hers, but I just want it for the spooky vibes and look at the cover like that's Halloween like that that's Halloween okay last intermission for the Trader Joe's snacks okay I saw this pumpkin spice cream liqueur and the last time I went it was sold out and then this time they had just restocked and I was like okay I'm gonna fall into the trap because obviously if it sold out before it's good so I got this to try. I'm not gonna try it though, not right now. I'm just not in the mood to have alcohol at the moment. And then I, these are not from today, but I got these like last week or earlier in the week. I got the pumpkin oat milk and this is actually really good. I put this in my espresso to make like a pumpkin latte at home and it's actually really good. And then I also got the pumpkin ravioli, which I also have tried before and I like it only slathered in a lot of butter. <laughs> okay, those are the Trader Joe's things. Sorry if you're not into food hauls i guess um sorry if you're not into grocery hauls but the girls who get it get it okay the last book i got was the october country by ray bradbury i have also been putting off this book for a few years because it just has to be the right fall you know like you know you have those books where you're like i want to read that and have a banging good time but this this year is just not the year you know and this is that book for me like i have been waiting so many years to read this book and this year is the year, I just feel it. So yeah, it's a collection of short stories by Ray Bradbury. Um, they're all set in like a spooky kind of setting. I really love Ray Bradbury, um, specifically like Something Wicked This Way Comes. I love that book, just the vibes of it. And I feel like this will bring the same vibes, you know? Okay, I almost forgot to show you my cinnamon spice broom at Trader Joe's. That's a must. Okay, those are all the books I bought today. Thank you for coming along with me to go book shopping. Thank you for putting up with my Trader Joe's haul. Thank you for watching my spooky book haul. I am so excited to do like reading vlogs for this season. Um, September, October, and also most of November is like spooky season for me. I just love fall so much. Like it, 
just like fulfills my heart and my being. So I really hope I can put out a ton of videos this season. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I definitely had fun and I will see you next time. Bye.